can't even know that. I can't find the word I wrote. I can't find what I wrote. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back again to another video. You're not expecting you, you're expecting this video. But you're not. So, guys, in today's video, mm, now we're talking about money. And any video that can bomb money, money, money like this, <laughs> this is the make is because what are we working for? If it's not, if it's not money. Anyways, I shall I don't see this thing. Set. Okay. So guys, in today's video, I'm talking about ways, 20 ways you can actually work legally. Like I can earn you can earn more than 20 hours per week. I be you can work more than 20 hours per week. Yeah. 20 ways this is a legal way you know that on this channel we don't do illegal things because if you do it illegally it's going to affect your indefinite leave to remain or your pr or your citizenship and i am sure you don't want that because one of the reasons we actually leave our country to go and labor in these countries is for our pr and our citizenship because you have to need we need something to show for it aside money so i have telling you 20 ways 20 things yeah 20 methods in which you can actually earn more than 20 hours per week legally so the first on my list is working in a high rate company so there are different countries actually have minimum wage for example you you um uk their minimum wage is 9.81 pounds in australia their minimum wage in dollars is 15.41 right when you convert minimum wage of uk to dollars right that means that would be the minimum wage would be 11 point something something whereas in australia like i said australia has the highest minimum wage whether you're a student whether you're a teacher whether you're everything minimum wage is 11 14.81 as long as you're working legally there yeah they have the highest minimum wage <laughs> so the first thing you I should do is even when a country has their own minimum wage that one does not mean that that is the minimum they can pay you so your best bet is to look for um A company that actually pays better, a bit pays higher than minimum wage. And in that view, for you to actually get a, a company that actually pays more than minimum wage is for you to have your experience. Is your experience that actually matters? For example, if you actually like um a nurse in Nigeria, you've had experience as a nurse, and then maybe you're going to UK or any of these countries to actually have your master's in this thing as a nurse, in as much as you can practice in that um sorry in that country without your license that's it i'm even saying or let's even say you don't have your license yet but then they can still give you job and still pay you well based on the experience you've had in your own country and that's why i used to tell people even when you're leaving your country to another country don't just live with an empty head don't just live with an empty this no experience or anything so your experience that you've had in nigeria will actually contribute to it in as much as it doesn't really rank but then they will actually pay you kind of higher or better than somebody that does not even have experience at all so your experience actually matters a lot so any experience you feel like you can get even if it is as a mechanic as an electrician as anything no experience is a waste so when you actually have experience and you actually apply for a job even if the company is paying minimum wage for everybody but because you have slight experience and you have a degree and everything they will kindly kind of pay you more than i or minimum wage so that's the way <laughs> then another way to actually work more than i be earn more than 20 hours per week is actually moving to a cheap city so when you're actually working even if no matter how much you are earning minimum wage and everything is moving to a cheap city so in that way you are not paying a lot of money for electricity for accommodation for bills and everything so that way any money that you earn you're able to conserve it to pay for your tuition to pay for any other thing right is like moving to yeah, I see. so there are so many cities in so many countries that they pay so well and you don't have to spend your whole life trying to fix things like trying to live your life there so i have so many videos that is coming up or maybe i've posted it already just pick any country of your choice and check um cheap cities that has high minimum wage so another one is working unlimited hours so we have some countries that actually um allows working unlimited hours for example is canada in canada when you work when you take on campus job whether lecture assistants library and everything you can work as long as you want as long as long as long as long as long as you want and that one is uh, in uk and you can when you actually work with companies like nhs you do nhs does not really pay well but then like i said if you have the experience even if the experience you have in your home country does not really rate with 
the experience uh, UK experience, you still have hedge than somebody that does not have at all. So if like that, when you work in with NHS, you actually have chances of actually when you work with NHS, you actually work for unlimited hours. But mind you, um, working with NHS with for having unlimited working unlimited hours, it has some jobs. There are some jobs that is restricted to maybe like um biochemist, radiography, and everything. I think I've made a video about that, or you can just check Gov. UK. So that's another way of you working legally more than 20 hours so the other one is side audios side audios like you um youtube working online like i have so many videos i've made about companies i, I did a video about 40 companies that is actually i am a global that i can actually work from home so when you actually work from home you can work as long as you want we have some though <laughs> countries like uk i think is illegal to actually I don't really know, Sha. Different, this thing with different, com different um countries with different requirements. So in you can work as have your own YouTube channel, or you can just look for any of these remote jobs online. In that view, you can work as long as you want, as much as you want. And in some countries, they will just need you to declare that this is what you're doing. Some will say as long as you are not working more than twenty hours. And the thing is, most of these um companies that offers remote job. They can offer work even if you're working for just 20 hours per week, they pay so well. For example, if you're doing transcript, transcribing, translating, but they pay so well. Even for that, your 20 hours per week, you actually have to infect that. Yes, I'm actually working than you working physically. Yeah, that actually pay so well. So, another one is moving to a country that actually allows you to work more than 40 hours per hour. I know most of you do not know this, but there are a whole lot of countries that actually allow you to legally work more than 40 hours per week. Number one, for example, we have Australia, I think New Zealand, there are so many countries like that that you can work more than 40 hours per week. I don't know if I've made the video or I'll be making it soon. Make sure you stay subscribed. So another thing you can think of moving to a country that actually, so imagine in Australia, that they actually make it allow you to legally work more than 40 hours per week. And Australia actually has the highest minimum wage. So imagine 40 times 14.54. And some of the jobs that are seen in Australia, you can even start. I said minimum wage means that's the minimum they can pay you. So they can actually go above that up to 20 um 20 dollars per hour. So imagine let's even go with the minimum wage. So 40 hours per week times 14.54. Do you know how much that is? Do you know how much that is? So next one, this is agency work. So everywhere, um, doing agency work, more like this contract job, they actually kind of pay well. But the thing is, they, they are not permanent jobs. So you just, and another thing is they are kind of flexible jobs. You just tell them, okay, I will be doing maybe two hours per day, two hours per day. Anything. So agency work actually pay well. They actually pay higher than um, normal, whatever job. job. So another one, this is changing jobs or shift so you might find yourself working as a customer care MD. there are some countries that there are some many jobs that actually pay more for example in uk for example in uk the care job kind of actually pay more than any other many jobs yeah and there are some areas that the customer care job actually pay more that's why i said your experience actually matter so just imagine even if you feel like you're actually traveling out and one thing you should know is one of the easiest jobs that you actually get is a care job so you can actually start by volunteering in the hospital like for you to have a tv month experience and everything so when you actually have that it's kind of make them to increase your pay so when you actually change job so maybe imagine you are doing a job maybe like a customer can you're getting maybe 10 pounds if you change to a care job you can be getting like 12 pounds or something so that's why even when you're doing so another one of my list is doing a job that is relevant to your experience so for example if you have experience as a carer in a hospital and then you are going to a supermarket to do customer care service though it's even stimulating but it does not really this so if you have experience as an engineer in nigeria and then you're going to a care home to volunteer your experience does not tally so that way they will pay you minimum wage because you don't have experience in relevant field but just for you to have experience in relevant field, you can look for an engineering company an automobile company a customer care this anything relating to your experience so it's always better to work in a company that is relevant to your experience so that way they will kind of like pay you higher and when you carry that your engineering experience and enter care home so next to my list is working during unusual time so 
everywhere in every country it works like that when you work during vacations during the holiday or during night shift they try to pay you more for example during public holiday they can pay you times two for example even in uk if you are earning 10 pounds if it's during public holiday and you work they can pay you times two of whatever you're earning and if you work during weekends when they feel like everybody should be resting work during weekends work at night it can actually like kind of increase the rate you actually earn per hour So another one on my list is moving to a country with high minimum wage. Like I've said and explained earlier, imagine somebody working as a, as a carer, even as a care manager in UK, and somebody working as a care manager in Australia. Hey, you know that me and you, you know the same range. So and that one on my list is actually moving to a country with high minimum wage, and that's why I tell you guys, it's one of those things to consider. Don't just move to UK because you feel like oh UK is the easiest for you to migrate to. Sometimes you just have to look at um. Add the pros, the cons, and everything together. Money is important, so money is important. Money is very, very important. So one of the things is actually moving to a country with high minimum wage. So another one on my list is moving to a city with high minimum wage. Like I've explained, we have some cities that is very cheap, right? Cheap for you to live in, but they have very, very high minimum wage. Just like uh, yeah, they have very high minimum wage. I'm making videos on that for different countries. Stay subscribed. So another one on my list is. Choosing an affordable school. So another thing that will actually make you to conserve or that you not really feel like, oh, you're working just 20 hours is choosing an affordable school. And this one is more similar to choosing an affordable school and choosing affordable city. So that way, any money you earn in your 20 hours, you know that you're not putting all your life back to your tuition fee or putting it in your this is something I've explained earlier. So another one is going for a good prospect course. So like I've said, if you know that your career path, you want to be an engineer, You've had experience in Nigeria as an engineer. When you get to the UK or any country, your 20 hours per week should be in an engineering firm. It could even be an automobile. It could be an distant engineering. And even at that, you are still doing masters in engineering. You see that way, you have experience. You have your BS in engineering. You have experience as an engineer in Nigeria. You study masters in engineering. You are doing your 20 hours per week in engineering. You see that way. Your, your path is aligned. So that way, it's easy for you to actually build your career and build your job prospects like that. So, and like I've said, when you have experience, it actually make them to actually, for you to actually earn more, earn more than people that does not have experience. So don't carry your engineering experience and carry it to care room. I know it might not be easy getting a job as an engineer or automobile, but things you have to search. You don't have to go like this because everybody's going like this. When they are going like this, go like this. And like I say, every company actually has an engineering firm. Every company does. Even when you see a hospital that they have, um, what's it called? This thing that you do, beam. This emergency van. They have their own engineering section. Every company has an engineering section, whether electrical, whether they this thing. So volunteers actually join their electrical section. So next to my list is... Choosing a school with good installment plan. So it's similar to what I've explained. So if you actually have a school with good installment plan, even when you're working your normal 20 hours per week, right, you will not feel overwhelmed that you're packing all your money and just dashing it to a school and just using to pay your tuition fee. So that's a way for you to actually earn more working 20 hours per week that it will not actually affect you. So another one is choosing a country with low tax. Guys, this one is very, very important, extremely important. Make sure to choose a country with low tax because we have so many countries, maybe like Germany, like they don't tax students, like they just allow them to be, they don't tax them. Why we have some countries that when your salary is more than this, they will tax you. Why we have some countries that regardless of whatever you earn, they are going to tax it. So that's one of those major things to consider. So even if you're trying your best, you've satisfied all this righteousness, you're working in a, a country with high minimum wage and everything, and then the company, the country is taking most of your tax away. So what's their sense? What is this? So one of the things to consider is make sure you choose a low, a zero to low tax country. So I have so many videos on that. I don't know if I've posted it yet. If I've not, check any of my country playlists. Just pick any country and check the playlist you see there. If not, make sure to stay subscribed. And that's why I said this channel is different from your usual immigration, right? And that's one of the things to consider. So, another one is working with international companies. Like, like I've said earlier, most times international companies kind of actually have more value to give. But though some are stingy, but some are not stingy, but that's not really out to local companies. We have some international companies that even aside your normal pay, they have so many benefits that they will give you. Some can give you employment benefits and everything. So, another thing is where you can actually earn more than 20 hours per week is working with the company that actually has referral. 
there are so many companies so many countries like 90 in fact all companies are but actually have referral bonus maybe if they are searching for a job opportunity if they are searching for an employer or anything you can actually post their job vacancy for them or but in this view make sure that you bring a trusted excuse me make sure you bring a trusted person to your company because if you bring somebody that is not trusted and person for up next time they will not trust you again so you can start doing this their referral bonus maybe uh, companies that are, they are looking for um care workers care job or whatever so you just get somebody for them and then you fed the person for them so if the if the interview and everything is successful they'll pay you some particular amount of money they can pay you 300 pounds right for bringing somebody to them anything so most country most companies actually does referral bonus so ask them do you have referral bonus so you can actually refer people to come and work for them and once they get there they'll just mention your name and then they'll actually pay you for that so that's the way of actually any more than that so that that's why this is working with a benefit a company that actually offer benefits so there are actually so, so many companies that aside your normal pay they actually offer a lot of benefit they can actually give maybe every end of the month they can give food i don't know they can give afternoon lunch or whatever in that way so you're not spending too much on pity and everything so depending on so many countries so yeah and then last but not the least on my list is working in like i've said this yeah, working in a job that actually pays i'm making videos on that about part-time job students can do that is high high paying maybe like all this finance insurance this thing their minimum wage is always very high so i just choosing a country with minimum wage choosing to work in a department with high minimum wage like all this insurance economics legal anything lawyer this thing they actually have a higher minimum wage so far that brings us to the end of this video and i hope you actually learned something and so as much as you can Make sure you are not working illegally more than 20 hours per week so that when you want to collect your citizenship, nobody will come and tell you, sorry ma'am, you're unfortunate at this time, sorry this, sorry that, sorry, you know. So guys, if you like and enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's Work 20 hours per week. Give me a shake. Thanks for watching. Bye.